Hello everyone. Hello. I just got home from work. It's 5 of 11. Just coming off like a 12 hour day. And I really shouldn't film videos after work because I did one recently and it was like uneditable. Like it wasn't funny. It wasn't good. It was awful. But I honestly just cannot wait. I can't wait. So here we are. Here we are at almost 11 o'clock at night after a really long day of work. What I have here is my girl doll. I never thought I'd find her. I never thought I'd find her. So I'm just gonna open it and then have a discussion. I've also got these two packages from AliExpress. So I figure I'll just open it all now. We'll just make one video out of it. Some of the things in here might fit her. So it could work out great, but I don't actually know what's in these. So I'm just gonna cut into this and then I'll talk about it afterwards. Afterwards. This doll shipped from Japan. Honestly and truly, it arrived in four days which is faster than I get mail from sometimes. I live on the East Coast. Sometimes the mail on the East Coast doesn't even come in four days, but definitely faster than I can get things from the West Coast. So I found that to be extraordinarily impressive. I asked for like light packaging, honestly, because I didn't want to pay for shipping, like which I feel like is kind of dangerous, especially since this is my grail doll that I've been looking for for probably like five or six years at this point. The last time they did a pre-order for this doll was in 2018. And I either found her late in 2018 or in 2019. So I missed it. And I cannot open it. It just will not come out. She did an excellent job packaging it. Seller was amazing, really communicative. She showed me pictures of everything. She was very upfront about like any little issues that the doll had. It was a very good experience. I have only had good experiences buying things off of Instagram, which probably isn't true for everyone, but this was probably like the fastest, the most communicative, just one of the greatest that I've had. Tearing in, tearing in like a mad woman because I'm just so excited. Here's the box, everybody. Here it is. The surprise is over. It's about our research doll. It's about our research deep tea. Just my dream doll. We've got more bubble wrap. And a wig in here. Oh, goodness gracious to me. Now I actually have to be careful. I can't just hack through it with my little team knife. Oh my God. Oh. This is deep tea she's in like the milky tan shade which is the shade that i wanted and this is a doll like i said i've been searching for for years and i almost bought one off of ebay probably like a year year and a half ago but it was in like white and that wasn't what i wanted this is the color i wanted so i said no no i will just hold out i will wait and i'm so glad i did because she she did eventually show up she's so beautiful she is everything i dreamed she would be um apparently there's like a little like defect in the ear i don't think you'll even be able to see it like she took a photograph of it and like it was almost not noticeable is it that one or this one don't even know can't even tell so it doesn't matter to me and let me just show let me just show her so this is Sparta Research DT in the Milky Tan shade. She has, I don't know what it is about that face, but there is just something about it that I fell in love with. Dark and Light Dolls on Instagram has a Barter Research Deep Tea, and I stalked that Instagram for years, just like standing that doll. I loved her so much. I also loved what she did with her. So that was probably part of it. Oh my God, she's just so great. So I think the color of those eyes are pretty, but I feel like the, the irises are a little bit too big for me. I have something that might fit in there that I'll change out later, but oh my God, beautiful. She's got this face up, which is very, very pretty, but I think I'd, I'd add to it if I was gonna do anything to it. Just, you know, a little a little extra uh, veining and dimension, because that's what I like to do. That's my favorite thing to do. And I mean, she holds amazing poses, probably one of the better posing dolls I own. I have so many dolls that need suiting and restringing, but like I don't want to do it because it's boring. 
But yeah, I finally painted, I'm gonna show this in a video in the near future. I finally painted my doll she doll and he has the most infuriating body of any doll that I own. He's just so like, he's strung too tight, but it was the strings that they sent me with the tying that they sent me. So I like figured it would work, but he, he's, he won't stand up straight. He's this like old man posture and it drives me fucking batty. But this doll holds a pose. She holds a pose. She holds a pose. She's got a double jointed leg here. Let's see if it'll lift up higher. It will. She cannot hold it. Oh, she can a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Gorgeous, stunning. Ah, oh, the doll of my dreams. I can't believe. I'm just so excited to have her after my long wait. And she's, she's very slim. I think she'll look good in a couple of my groups. I'm not for sure where I'm gonna put her yet. Um, she also sent me this wig, which is cute. She said it's a little bit big. You can stick it on with some sticky tack. It's not really my style of wig, but it's very pretty. I like the color. And she's got high-heeled feet. She also sent these high-heeled shoes, which are cute. I think there might be some flat food shoes in these AliExpress boxes. So I'll find out, but her feet are very small. They are four centimeters, which is, I think, like a great size to buy male action figure shoes. I'm pretty sure that those are for a four centimeter foot. So I'm gonna find out right now. I'm so excited, I'm so pleased. Just a beautiful doll and the doll of my dreams. And I'm just so happy that I finally have her. Let me just take this wig off because it's gonna annoy me. I'm just so happy that I finally have her and I held out for exactly what I wanted because dreams do come true, okay? The cynical girl is gonna be positive today because, because this doll is sitting in my lap as normal, sitting in garbage. So much garbage. Here, here's a little card with all of her information on it. So you can follow her if you don't already. She's a lovely person, lovely seller. If you see any of your dolls that you like, buy them because it's real nice and easy to get things from her. Let's just hack into these and find out what's in them. I have no idea because I did like a very large AliExpress order and it shipped in like parts and some of them are still in China. Some of them are like in customs and some of them are here. So I don't know. Oh, this is Gadgetpop. Every single little box, every single wasteful little box has my address on it. This one's actually nice. I can keep this in my hoard. How do I get it? I am befuddled by the box. Of course I am. It's 11 o'clock at night because this isn't what I should be doing at 11 o'clock. I should be sleeping because I have an early morning doctor's appointment. Excuse me while I cut this tape. What is this? Oh, it's shoes. These were actually some of the shoes that I thought could potentially fit her. They look small though. <laughs> I don't think. Maybe if you put them in the microwave, that's what I do with most shoes. I um, put them in the microwave and then they're softer and so they'll like kind of mold to the foot and it works out. It's probably a pathological solution, but whatever. So I got these cute little boots because I just thought that they were cute. They're like kind of like a croc mixed with a Doc Martin. That's what I would say that they look like. And yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get her foot in here as the shoe is, but I could try microwaving these. If they don't fit her, they're not gonna fit anyone because I think she has the smallest foot of any of my dolls, except for, because there's another doll over there that I actually had bought these for. Her foot's bigger though, which is so annoying. Well, I'll microwave them and keep you updated. They're cute though, real cute. What I'm hoping is in here, if I'm honest, I got these hangers, but I'm hoping the other hangers are in here so I can hang my little dresses off that um, rack that I bought. These are the ones that'll hang like an outfit. You know what I mean? Like a full outfit, which is always useful because how, how do you hang doll pants? It's very challenging. They look nice. They're, they're good size, right? Yeah. Where's the buzzing? What's the buzzing? It almost sounds like my phone is ringing. This happens sometimes in this apartment. It's probably my neighbor, but it like sounds like my phone is ringing, but it's not my phone. It's so weird. It's a spooky ghost. Two 
tired. I thought I had the strength, but I don't. Oh, these are tiny. Of course they are. Here's the hangers. I think most of the dresses that I made are pretty small. I don't know. Whatever. Moderately annoyed. But why wouldn't I be? I'm unboxing all the express. More shoes? Oh, these are for action figures. But don't they look huge? Maybe they'll fit her. Let's try it. They're not going to fit my action figures. Feet. I can tell you that right now. So they don't fit her. And they're definitely not going to fit my action figure. They're like plastic shoes. And I bought them for female action figure feet, but they're so big. I'm like, confused. Why, why, why are shoes so difficult? Why do you lie to me in the listing and tell me it is something when it is not something? I just going to tear open how lovely, but of course there's more fucking bubble wrap. The bubble wrap that never ends. <laughs> these are gonna fit. I actually bought these for my Tamika and Space Girl. I mean, they might be real. Oh, they're never gonna go on though, that's the thing. Like I thought it was gonna be soft and it's like, extremely hard. Oh, that's so disappointing. And I don't even know if I can stick that in the microwave because I'm pretty sure what's out here could potentially melt. You know I'm gonna try it anyway. And the other thing I could do is slice them down the back so I can slide the foot in that way, but it will definitely fit on the foot. So here's the shoes. They're like, I guess they're Nikes because they do have a swoosh on them, but they're just like a cool shoe. I just thought those looked really cool and I thought that they would be big enough to fit on my Tamika and Space doll feet. But she and that doll have very similar size foot. So I'll keep you updated on whether I can make those go on their feet. A hellish time. A hellish time in the land of shoe buying. I don't even know what this could be. Isn't that awful? Because I bought this stuff like so long ago. That's the other weird thing about AliExpress. I feel like sometimes the shipping is like very reasonable and sometimes it takes forever. You kind of never know which one it's gonna be. Oh, and it's gone. This was the stuff that said it's just clear customs and it's here in my hot little hands. These are fake little books from my bookshelf. And they're very small. But they actually have pages in them, I think. Maybe not, yeah. So that's cool. What does this say? These are only as gray as you allow them to be. That just sounds like an inspirational statement. Two hearts, two heart song. Robert Coverley, with the lighting as is right now in this place, never gonna be able to tell you. But these are cute, they're nice than the ones I have. Tess of the Dubervilles, I remember that one from high school. Of Ghostly Japan, maybe? I can't really read it. You probably can't either because it's a glare from the baggie. All right, I'm gonna open the Gachapon too. Why not, right? Everybody wants to see my Gachapon. I don't know where I put them though. I'm so tired. I lost the bag of gadget on everybody over here. It's right next to me. I don't remember what these are either because why would I? There's three of them in here and I know I bought more than three. So there's like more coming. One time I bought like a, a pajama outfit for my action figures on AliExpress. And it took like a really long time to ship. And then it arrived and I opened the package and it was like a little metallic like it looked like it could be a doll bracelet but that's no i didn't order that and it also wasn't worth like the 30 dollars that i spent on the pajamas so i was like very confused by it and that was that on that that's the story this is a little 112 scale camera it's 112 scale why can't i find a camera that'll work for any of these fucking dolls I can't get it open. I lost the night. This is why I shouldn't be doing videos at 11 o'clock at night, everybody. This is the reason. The knife is gone. Here it is. I always put it there. I should learn. This is really cute. Here's a tripod right here. 
for a camera. That is unfortunately the smallest camera I've ever seen. So I now have the smallest doll camera I've ever seen and the largest doll camera I've ever seen. Maybe next time it'll be just right. It's like Goldilocks. She broke into their home and ate their food and just like thought that was okay. What a bad person she is, my God. Three sticks, I'm not sure what these three sticks are. Here's the camera though. It comes in two pieces and you stick it together. Wow, look at it, it's so small. And I guess like, oh, I see. I think this, no. Oh, it goes on the tripod bottoms. Got it. <laughs> Remember how impressed I was with the last Gachapon that I was like, I need to buy more. I'm literally sitting here trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. And that's the definition of insanity. So I'm just going to put that one away for now. Here's a red egg. There's tape on it. Oh, I know what this is. I'm excited about this one. This is so cute and it's more or less the right size. Maybe it's a little small, but I'm kind of just fine with that. What this is, oh my God, that's so cute. I think this is supposed to slide in there like that, but it's like a little makeup box and it says Cherry on it. And my Tamekan Space Gal is named Cherry. And so I thought it would be cute if she had a little makeup container that had her name on it. Here's the chart. I think I bought like some stuff to go inside of it too. Here's the chart. So you can get three different makeup containers and there were three different makeup options. So I picked out one of those also. It may be in here. That could be the last egg in here. So let's find out together. They look kind of like remnants. They're very small. Um, and it has like a little box to put together like remnants. How bizarre. I love that. I'm too tired to be alive. And this one comes three. Absolutely minuscule, but precious. This says cherry softening cleanser on it. This one says facial moisturizer. So I bought a skincare pack, which is so unlike me because I hate skincare. I hated when I got makeup subscription boxes and it was just filled with skincare. I'm like, I, I purchased this for makeup. And this face mask, obviously something drew me to this. I don't know. But those will fit in the little box, which is gonna be so cute. And I'm gonna do that in a minute. But also, which I love this, because there's something wrong with me and I love things like this, two little bags, like shopping bags that say cherry on them, as if it were the brand, I don't really know. But doesn't this remind you of a remint? I wonder if it is. What is this? Oh, and these are little eye boomerangs. That's so cute. You can use them because they're stickers. Under eye masks, I guess they go into this little box. Is this what I should be doing at 11 o'clock at night when I have to get up at the crack of dawn to go to a doctor's appointment? No. I wonder what I was thinking before. Like, the thought that left. And then I'm like, is there something wrong with me? Well, it's really not staying. And it's very small and it's made of cardboard. Which, how you could say that about me. I'm also very small and made of cardboard. It will not stay together because I'm probably doing it wrong. Did it come with instructions? Is there an instructional manual? Oh, I see why I bought this one, because I wanted those bags. Like, I got it for the bags. The other two options were, like, one that has more makeup and one that looks sort of like a nail polish set, which is honestly precious. And I really want this to go together so I can put the eye masks into it, but I, like, can't make that happen because it just won't. I also feel like when you do eye masks, why is he texting me? Are these supposed to fit in here? I guess they're single eye masks, everybody. Just one at a time because that's how they fit in the box. What am I fucking doing? It is so late. This is not normal people behavior. All right, I've successfully put the box together and the eye mask in the box. And now I'm gonna put all the stuff into the little caboodle because I want to. How precious is that? It's so cute. So I put the bigger things on the, I'm not gonna be able to show this without dumping it out. I put the bigger things on the bottom part and the little things on the top. 
And there we go. Oh, it's so cute. So, I mean, two, two, two out of the three Gachapon being good is something. Okay. Here, I, got, I did it. I got the camera to go. It's really cute. It's just, like, unfortunate that it's this small. I mean, maybe it would work for my action figures, but I think it even looks too small for them. It's 112 scale, obviously. Some of that stuff you can kind of, like, fudge in photographs. I don't know. Well, everyone... Once again, I've successfully managed to put myself into a pile of garbage, but at least I have my grail doll to sit in the garbage with me, right? I feel like the energy faded so quickly. It just like died. I died. I died out as a human. <laughs> but there she is, the prettiest girl in all the world. See, here's the thing, like I need to put her in an outfit. I right? I need to put her in a fucking outfit. I've been filming for 35 minutes. So let me just grab her an outfit. I might as well, right? I might as well just grab her an outfit because I'm going to have to put her in one anyway. And now all the lights in the house are on. Oh, it's so bright. I just popped these shoes in the microwave for a minute. So we'll see if these fit her. I did see, you know, because I stalked that Light and Dark Dolls uh, Instagram page. I saw her doll in these shoes, so I feel like they should fit. But you know how it is. Yes. Go in there. Ow. Of course I have nothing that fits her. Really. All right, well, this is a kind of a cute outfit. The only problem is, is this, the skirt I made for Pasha Pasha, is, so it's too big on her for now. But if I add another snap, then they both can wear it. So as you can see, the back looks crazy. But from the front, she looks very cute in this. Let's pop her wig on. So yeah, I feel like this is sort of the vibe and the aesthetic. Like she and the Tamekin Space Girl can definitely share tops, even though she's like slimmer. You can tell, cause I feel like it covers the Tamekin Space Girl's boobs a little bit more Cherry, Cherry the doll. Um, but I made this shirt for her and it fits her just fine. Um, but I feel like they have like a similar sort of like style so maybe she lives with them she's a cool girl she's gonna live with the cool girls <laughs> all right i'm calling it that's the video for the evening everyone i've been filming for 43 minutes which means it is close to 12 o'clock at night i've had a very long day but i am grateful that i now have my grail doll and she will be well loved and i will love her forever and there'll be more photos of her to come. Have a nice time, everyone. Have a really good time.